Welcome everyone. The dreaded message many of you have seen is this, the unable to verify app. And inside of the settings, you verified everything. Okay, you've tapped on the trust, it shows verified by Apple, but you still see this message. And the reason why you get this 10 second explanation, launch skip, is when you download an app, which gets too many downloads from a third party website, if the website host doesn't do a certain trick, the apps will be blocked. Okay, when one app is blocked, all of your other apps will stop working. And so this caused many issues. It's been an issue until now. Yes, until now. Today, is it Friday? Yeah, Friday 9 o'clock. <laughs> I joke about Friday 9 o'clock when stuff releases. Literally, Friday 9 o'clock, we have a permanent blacklist fix. This is the first in the world. So real quick, you see unable to verify. Okay, I open this. I tap the fix button. And just like that, it's a one tap. And all those applications which were showing unable to verify app, they are now fully working again. So you're looking at this, you're like, well, that's cool, but I have a couple of questions. So first of all, I need to sideload a app called Blacklist, but how can I open an app which removes the Blacklist if I'm already Blacklist? Well, that's a good question. So right now I need to go out in like again, two minutes, but the quick summary is the first way, which not everyone wants to do, but some people will do, is if you just use Alt Store and then sideload this Blacklist app, you can open this up at any time when you want to download apps on a computer, tap on the fix, and then your applications will work. The upside of this is if you're like me, and you just don't want to use the computer all the time, then you have the Blacklist app available to remove the Blacklist from the no computer sideloads, and that's my personal use. But what if you don't have a computer, right? Not everyone's... Not everyone... Not everyone can spend a thousand pound on a phone, but not 50 pound on a computer, wink wink. So what you could do is you could install another certificate, which is revoked, and I'll make a video on this. And then when you use that revoke certificate, you can open up the Blacklist app temporarily, it won't last forever, but you can still open up the app and then remove the Blacklist from the signed apps. So the English translation, just to break this down, of a proxy, you can temporarily install applications which are revoked and with that temporary time you can open up the blacklist app it won't have the unable to verify message and when you tap on fix blacklist all of the applications you can download without a glitch are going to start working okay all the new apps will also work as well so this is quite big because obviously you can't use the apps one moment and then suddenly you can use the apps the next moment. So I need to leave. I uh, have a tour out in about two days, but I'm going out, so I can't make it today. And <laughs> this is this is big. This hasn't been seen before. I don't know if I said this earlier, so I'm not going to edit this video, but you do need to be... Oh, it's a, I did the middle finger. Oh, no. But you need to be on the Mac Dirty Cal firmwares. So iOS 16.2 down to iOS 16.0 and then iOS 15.7.1 down to iOS 14. And real quick, shout to App Installer iOS who made this, so this is the app installer iOS, follow, I'll have, I'll have the follow in the description, so this is very impressive, good work here, this is so big, that this tweet at 5am, no one's up at 5am, has already got 100 likes and 20k views, so this is a big deal, look forward to this, I know I'm waffling now, see you, bye bye, nice guy.